wasn't overimposing on who he was and big and that, but he could just he could he could do things a lot of other people couldn't do in the position he played. It was not anybody that I ever seen before him or after him. And uh, for for that position, it was kind of unique, and it was hard for other people to to defend him too, because they actually had to start accounting for where he was at, even when he was on the backside. While many players made contributions to Austin Peay's 1977 Ohio Valley Conference Championship team, few were as imposing as Ron Seabree. In an era before quarterback hurries were kept, before tackles for loss or sacks were routinely tracked, Seabree ruled with an iron fist along the defensive front. From the broadcast booth, I could, uh, I could see how he was, he was moving, he was talking to his teammates, he was, he was definitely a team player. There were some great individuals on there uh, who made the great team that it was. Uh, Betts and Bob Bible and James Green and Lynn Halestock and Seabree. And I think they kind of fed off of each other. If you ran towards them, you couldn't block them. He would take it on and get out of the way. He was fast enough and a good enough athlete to get out of the way of anything that was coming his way and he could get around it. If he had to take you on, he'd take you on and make it work. Uh, but his gift was his speed and be able to run for the backside and get to a lot of places that typically somebody playing defensive end couldn't get to. Seabreeze junior season was one for the record books. Alongside Bob Bible, Seabree made 135 stops to lead a ferocious Austin P defense that helped win the program's first Ohio Valley Conference championship. Seabree picked up the first of two All-Ohio Valley Conference honors and honorable mention All-American, one of a program record five governors to earn All-American honors from the championship team. Well, I thought, you know, ingrained in my mind is uh, Ron Seabree coming out of the tunnel onto what was then Municipal Stadium and seeing that number 43 because you saw 43 so much during the games, slashing, going around in, making tackles, tackles for loss, sacks, and, and also a, a great team player, great team player. He was the energy and the spark plug of the 77 defensive team at Austin Peay. Uh, he, he was always going, always getting us up. The biggest thing I always remember about him is he, he arrived fast and he, and he hit very hard. Uh, as Boots would say, he, he would knock you naked. <laughs> 